here with York Lions football head coach Warren Craney after a season opening game against the Waterloo Warriors. Um, coach, I know you guys didn't end up on the right side of the scoreboard, but what were your general thoughts on this one? Well, obviously disappointed. I mean, it's it's very difficult to win a football game when you spot a team 32 points. Um, it was, uh, I think, it was evident from our uh, opening uh, special teams play, our punt team. You know, uh, we had a young individual that took a massive 25-yard penalty and that resulted in a disqualification that uh, took this young squad a little uh, a little while to recover from. And I think that set the tempo for the first half. And you know, it, it, it was very unfortunate because. Um, I thought we had some good individual um, play in the first half, uh, but you know what, we were able to address it in the second half, that in, um, our play, the intensity we had, and I thought we came out in the second half and had a dynamite second half. Uh, we, we still made a couple of mistakes, but uh, I wish I would have seen that, that second half team play in the first, in the first half, and I, I think it uh, definitely, I'm not saying, it would have been a different score, I can tell you that. Does that give you guys a renewed sense of confidence heading into the second week at McMaster? Uh, well, we're definitely going to look at the positives. Okay. You know, it's it's uh, they were a little, I think they were a little they were a little gun shy. You know, it's it's uh, you know coming back the first season after COVID, uh, um, you know training camp and they, they they handled it really well. Um, but even though we played the exhibition game last week, this was the first real test. And I think, you know, we've taught, we've spoken, you know, one of our, we talk about, um, you know, core values and, and team values. And, and one of the biggest thing was, was resiliency. You know, we wanted to focus on resiliency and uh, our, our ability to overcome adversity. And uh, it unfortunately took us 30 minutes uh, to overcome this adversity. So. Um, disappointed in the first half, but definitely uh, happy with how they responded in the second half. Offensively, uh, Melcha Salunga had a touchdown. Um, your general thoughts on, on his game and maybe the offense more generally as well? Yeah, Melchus, we thought Melchus had a great day. Uh, we, we thought we, we did really well running the football, uh, both Darnell and Melchus. We thought had a, a tremendous day. Uh, we knew going into the season that running the football was going to be a priority for us. Uh, you know, Melchus had a heck of a run. Uh, at the end of the third quarter to score that touchdown and uh, you know we're, we're really really super excited and looking to build on that we knew Malkus is a, is a heck of a football player and we're very excited what he's you know he's only in his second year and he didn't even play last year so he's been with us for two he's in his first year of eligibility this kid's going to be a star very very soon so really happy with that considering the absolute disaster we were on offense last year and we were a train wreck we were we were abysmal um, there was a lot of positives from the game today. Um, you know, it might not have shown it on the scoreboard, but if you look at if you look at it from a tactical perspective, we were pinned in our own end a lot, and our offense moved the ball, put together two, three first downs to be able to at least get us out of our end, so we weren't constantly pinned deep. So I thought they did a really, really good job there. We just got to finish. You know, I thought uh, I thought Noah started slow. He made a he made a, a couple bad decisions in the in the second and third drive. Um, but after that, I thought he bounced back. Uh, I thought he, I thought he definitely showed some, um, some good leadership and some good decisions. You know, we, we, but we need to be perfect. You know, we dropped the football way too much, way too much, and uh, we just need to be better. You know, we're we're a football team that can't make mistakes like that. We can't recover from mistakes like that. But again, you know, Alfred Olay had a couple of critical drops, but he came back and made dynamite play on that touchdown drive. You know, it was uh, Alfred made an absolutely, absolutely incredible catch, and um, you know, uh, two plays later we're in the end zone. So I, I thought, uh, you know, I thought Alfred was the epitome of resiliency because uh, he struggled a little bit in the first half, but uh, it, it was awesome. Thanks, Coach. All the best this week. Thank you.